found the windiest part of this trail that I'm on to record this. It's a really nice April evening. It's the beginning of April now. What is it today? The 5th of April? So in January, I did uh, an update video, my 2022 challenge video. And then I made another follow-up video, which I called January Run Chat. Uh, I made that video just so as I can keep myself focused on what the priorities are from a running perspective but also so as I can look back on these videos and remember where my thought process was. When I watch my old videos from years ago, two, three years ago, I was in a completely different mindset to where I am now. I was still pushing myself but my goals were very different and my capability is very different. So I want to continue that and then the other thing is I called it January run chat because it was January and I was chatting about my runs. Since then, I found out by using the hashtag run chat that there is actually a thing called run chat. So I didn't want to get the two mixed up. However, it fits quite nicely with that kind of mentality. So I'm going to do another one now and I might make it a thing. I don't think I'm going to do it every month, but never say never. But this is April's run chat. So I'm back on the Thames today. Um, it's been a particularly tough 14 days, these last 14 days since the middle of March. I'm gonna say a couple of things. I'm not sure whether they're gonna make it into the final edit, but I, I find talking to the camera very therapeutic, so it can't do any harm. So a week ago, I came down, I, I don't know what it was, I was very ill. I felt sick. Um, nauseous that is but I didn't have any other symptoms other than just feeling very achy uh, very burnt out very tired um, I wasn't sleeping so for three days straight I pretty much spent those three days in bed I wasn't eating properly this was about a week ago now and then it took me a several days to get over it um, I was doing the COVID test every day and it wasn't COVID um, we still have some of the uh, some of the home kits left over and because of what we do for a living we work with children and the public um, we we test every day anyway well we were up until the tests uh, up until the test run out we still have quite a few left anyway cut a long story short I was I was testing myself so it wasn't COVID um, that was it wasn't COVID that was um, making me unwell I don't know what it was I had no coughing sneezing no head cold it was just aching and just feeling incredibly lethargic. I had no appetite um, and I certainly wasn't running. So the point of this story is I haven't run now for eight days. This is, this is the ninth day. Um, I'm now three miles into my run. I went out with the intention of it being a very easy, very slow, um, a cathartic run. And I couldn't have picked a better evening for it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention on camera is uh, I found out in March and so my mum hasn't been well for quite a long time um, it's been a couple of years where we've noticed a steady decline in her physical and mental well-being it's hard to describe without going into personal details so we found out in the middle of March that she was given an Alzheimer's diagnosis which as you can imagine has hit us as a family very hard she was a woman who is very active is a woman that is very active for her to be a woman that is really struggling with just the most basic of 
cognitive abilities it's um it's, it's been a blow so this has been a very tough month I'm not really sure why I'm mentioning it on here. I think the only reason, I think the only reason that I'm mentioning it on here is because that running has really helped me take my mind off of how I'm feeling. I think everything hit me at once. I had that diagnosis in the, you know, two weeks ago, then I got really ill which I never get ill, I'm never ill. I've got a very good immune system and I'm never laid up in bed ever. It's just been a really tough two weeks. And then to add on top of that, the one thing that takes my mind off it, the one thing that lets me disappear off into my own headspace, listen to some music, kind of run it out, get out there and hit the tarmac or hit the trails, is running. And to not be running, it was the last thing I wanted to do. Today is the first run I've done in just over a week. And it feels great to be out. I was a little bit worried about it. I thought that um, I'd struggle, but I didn't, you know? I've just run up here really comfortably, really easily, which really goes to show that fitness levels really don't drop off that quickly. The other thing I thought I'd mention really quickly is I have a, a new pair of kicks. I'm not somebody who buys a lot of running gear. I buy what I need. The reason why I've ended up with these is because um, at the beginning of the year, uh, my old ones, which I used for the marathon, had completely worn out, so they weren't any good anymore. I had an old pair predating the marathon, but they were a very cheap, basic pair of trainers that every time I wore them, no matter how many times I persisted, they kept giving me blisters. So I bought a pair of Clifton 8s, Hokers. There's nothing wrong with the Clifton 8s, they did exactly what they said on the tin, but as an inexperienced runner, um, I wear them for everything. So I wear them when I'm running on canals, I wear them for trails, I wear them for roads. So rather than buy a pair of trail trainers, because I don't want to have four pairs, I've, my wife had bought me for my birthday, because it was my birthday two weeks ago, my wife has bought me a pair of Mac 4s, Hokers exactly the same as my first pair because do you know what if they ain't broke don't fix them is the day after yesterday when I did my first run in about eight or nine days. 
Um, it's the 6th of April today and it's absolutely chucking it down. But yeah, really wet day today. But I've gone out relatively early, it's about nine-ish when I left house. So this road here, I found this, this road. I found this road last year when I was training and it's blocked off at both ends. So it's a country road. It's blocked off at that end and it's blocked off at that end. So cars can't come down here. You can only get to it by foot. Um, and the only way to get to it is by two busy country roads at either end, which are always in use, which have no footpath, or by running or walking across farmer's fields. I've run this hundreds of times and it's like my own personal running track. I don't think I've ever seen anyone on it with the exception of the odd cyclist or um, a rambler or a dog walker. So very rare to see anyone, which is great because it means that you can, I can, run any way I see fit. I love it. I wanted to get out today and just do another quick run. I've only done, so far up till here, I've done about three miles just under. So by the time I get home, I probably would have done about five today, um, four and a half yesterday. So we've just over a week out. I think that's, um, that's pretty good going and I've really enjoyed it. My, my usual routine is I'll run for about five days, have a day off and then run again. I normally only take one, maximum two days off a week. Uh, but yeah, usually about one. It's really starting to rain now. The reason why I do that is I just, I get so much out of running. It isn't just about the physical exercise, the physical aspect. It isn't about the, the training necessarily. It isn't about physically staying fit. Yeah, so if I've covered a really long distance, I just feel so much better for it. And that sense of euphoria lasts longer and longer and longer now that I'm doing it and enjoying it more. Um, also, what I have noticed is that my resting pace, the pace that I can run really slowly, which I feel is slowly, is slow, um, is getting faster. And that's not because I'm pushing it, it's because that's comfortably where my body can sit at now when running. Yeah, so, so, that, so my resting pace, the pace that I went out and ran at yesterday, started with an 11 rather than a 12 average per mile. And then the other thing I wanted to mention was my nutrition or my eating habits so my eating has been absolutely atrocious over the last two weeks so in the last two weeks we've had in our family we've had two birthdays so my birthday and my wife's birthday um i turned 42 she turned 41 and obviously with birthdays comes excessive eating so we've had a few restaurant trips um three birthday cakes randomly she bought me two, two birthday cakes, so we've had to eat them. Between the four of us, this is, this isn't between two people, but still, <clears throat> you know, my teenage kids can put cake away. Um, and then, obviously I don't drink, but we made up for it with our portions of food and, but it's been nice, it was a nice welcome break, but yeah, I think I've probably put on some, some weight, which I'm not, happy with doesn't help being on half term Easter Easter school holidays these two weeks we're going away next week and when you're on holiday even though we're on a boat and we get to drive the boat every day it um, it leaves you a lot of time to to eat <laughs> so we're gonna try and be healthy and cook our own food and not eat in pub restaurants and but those are the famous last words because um, there's a lot of nice restaurants along the canal but what does help is we're vegan and being vegan limited limits your choice of restaurant yeah that's where we are so i've walked most of this now i've walked to the end i'm going to finish this run it's absolutely uh it's a, it's a grim day at those clouds i'm going to try and finish this run oh i'm getting my hair cut this afternoon my wife has said, Tracy, has said that enough's enough and that I need to get it cut. So how short I go will depend how I feel when I sit in the barber's chair. I don't really want to cut it short. I quite like having long hair. Something, it's just a change. I give you the world like I promised. So 
I've now had my hair cut. Just as I was sitting down to edit this video, I realized uh, there was one other thing that happened that I haven't mentioned, which is uh, I entered the ballot for the London Marathon for this year. So as you know, the London Marathon has moved from April permanently to October, the 3rd of October last year. And it's whatever weekend it falls on in October this year. The results, I got the results back about two weeks ago, didn't get in, which really bummed me out. Um, but it is what it is, it's just one of them things I can enter other marathons, but I wanted to do the London Marathon. But yeah, anyway, my next video is gonna be me running canals and being on the boat with the family. So see you then.